story. Okay, I'm William Poffley. This is Kyle Poffley. Uh, I'm gonna check his vitals today. There's gonna be two vitals I'm gonna checking. I'm gonna check his pupils, and I'm gonna be checking oh. his uh, carotid pulse. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Kyle. <laughs> so that was 12 beats. Okay. That's terrible. Hold up. Is it terrible? Well, let's do the math. Well, 6 times 12 is 72, so that gives us 72 beats per minute. The average 16-year-old male's heart rate beats around 80 beats per minute. Now let's find the percentage of that. 80 divided by 72 equals 1.11. So I know it's around 11%, meaning that Kyle's heart rate is actually 11% lower than the actual uh, normal amount. That's actually pretty good. So, cameraman, you were wrong. Did you get kids in the Ethiopia get food. No, what are you doing with that thing near my eye? He's measuring you measure your, your pupils, it's okay. He puts the the crop. Threatens him on camera. You know this is for my school, right? Okay. Now when you're testing for uh, pupil dilation, uh, a lot of times you use a flashlight and you shine it in one eye. But majority of the time, if they're not concussed, both eyes should shrink. So, if Kyle here had brain damage, um, one, would be, one would stay open and that could indicate a concussion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure both eyes. So Kyle, open your eyes, big and wide. So that's about probably like a quarter centimeter. I got a fun fact. Did you know that when you shine a light in someone's eye, it's hard to see? <laughs> I just got your uh, vitals regarding your pupils, and then I'm going to do some math on this screen right here. As we know, pupils are round. They are also circles. For this situation, we'll use this right here. This is how to get the area of a circle. Now first, we need radius, not diameter, so let's cut that diameter in half, which will give us the radius of the shape. Now we're left with this, A equals pi times 1.5 to the power of 2. Already, yo, oh, it's bed mass time, so let's start with the brackets. There's no brackets, so we're good there. So now it's back to exponents. Well, we have an exponent, so 1.5 to the power of 2 is 2.25. Now let's multiply, since that's next down on the list, which is pi times 2.25. And that gives us 7.06858347057735. But we're going to sig fig fig it, which we have one significant figure. So that is just seven. So yes, we have seven millimeters. Uh, so yeah, some cool editing skills. Wicked. Yeah, because I can't do anything with you. Anyway. Thank you. What the fuck are you doing? And that's, that's everything. <laughs>